Anchor Make M5C. The Anchor Make M5C is built on a sturdy and durable frame that ensures stability during the printing process. The printer's assembly is straightforward, and it is designed to be user-friendly, even for those new to 3D printing. The machine's construction quality is exceptional, characterized by its simplicity and durability. One of its standout features is the claimed one-button operation. While it's not entirely precise, as the app or desktop slicer software is necessary, it still maintains a straightforward approach. Anker Make opted for an interesting choice by entirely omitting any form of display on the M5C, instead featuring a prominent play button and relying on a mobile app. While 3D printer phone apps are not unusual, they typically serve as supplementary tools for tracking your prints. However, Anker Make's mobile app is mandatory and serves as the sole method for comprehensive printer control. The Anker Make M5C features an enhanced filament path, incorporating a reverse Bowden tube that links to the spool holder. This setup facilitates convenient and direct filament feeding into the extruder. One of the most significant benefits of Anker Make printers is their exceptional print speed. Similar to its predecessor, the Anker Make M5C boasts a maximum print speed of 500 mm per second, which is remarkably swift for a commercially manufactured 3D printer. By way of comparison, Prusa's range of printers achieves print speeds of 200 mm per second. In terms of material compatibility, the M5C exhibits remarkable versatility, accommodating a wide range of materials from common PLA to more exotic options like PACF. To sum up, reasons to buy. Excellent software, fast, consistently great prints, direct drive, auto bed leveling. Reasons to skip, no SD card slots, noisy fans, Prusa MK4. The Prusa MK4 continues Prusa Research's tradition of thoughtful design and robust build quality. The printer is built around a sturdy frame that minimizes vibrations, ensuring precise and consistent printing. It features a user-friendly interface with a color touchscreen that simplifies setup and operation, making it accessible for users of all levels of expertise. One of the standout design features is its load cell sensor which enables the printer to automatically apply a seamless and uniform initial layer without requiring any user intervention. Additionally, it boasts a next-generation extruder and a 32-bit integrated board, paving the way for numerous novel features and potential future enhancements. Bed leveling is entirely automated, eliminating the need for manual adjustments. The initial layers are flawlessly deposited, courtesy of a load cell sensor that has taken the place of the traditional Pinda probe. This sensor is linked to the nozzle, enabling the MK4 to make physical contact with the print surface, thereby ensuring a more accurate measurement. The MK4's firmware additionally incorporates input shaper and pressure advanced technologies, enabling the printer to eliminate vibrations in prints and anticipate the filament flow. As a result, this leads to a noteworthy reduction in print duration with potential time savings of up to 70% compared to the prior MK3 model. The Prusa MK4 is compatible with a wide range of filament materials, such as PLA, PVA, PETG, ASA, PC, PP, Flex, Nylon, Composites, and more. Positions it as a highly versatile option suitable for households, hobbies, manufacturing, education, architecture, and design applications. So, let's recap. Reasons to buy. Reliable and efficient. Versatile and customizable. Easy to use. Faster than MK3. Reasons to skip. Expensive. Released without input shaping. Creality K1. The Creality K1 is the latest addition to their product lineup. Offers a promising blend of performance, convenience, and affordability. The Creality K1 boasts a robust and reliable design, typical of Creality's commitment to stable and accurate 3D printing. The printer's frame is constructed with high-quality materials, ensuring that it remains steady during the printing process, which is essential for achieving precise results. Its assembly is straightforward and user-friendly, making it accessible to those new to 3D printing. The K1 operates as a core XY 3D printer, which implies that the print head traverses along the X and Y axes, while the print bed moves vertically along the Z axis. The motion of the print head is achieved through an intricate arrangement of stepper motors and belts. An outstanding characteristic is the clear division between the printing enclosure and the electronics, ingeniously situated at the printer's base. 
the K1 showcases a noticeable advancement from its earlier sprite extruder design. Acknowledging the need for improved printing speed, Creality has introduced a new design to cater to the demands of high-performance printers. You have the option to manually load and unload the filament using a lever on the extruder for this purpose. However, the automatic loading and unloading via the menu offers greater convenience and operates exceptionally smoothly. Despite its modest dimensions, the K1 offers ample space for your creative endeavors. With a generous build volume measuring 220 x 220 x 250 millimeters, this printer provides an expansive canvas to transform your imaginative designs into reality. In a nutshell, reasons to buy, great price, high print speed, high print quality, low vibration, reasons to skip, loud, slicer is not great. Neptune 3 Max, the Neptune 3 Max promises to be a powerful and user-friendly 3D printer, catering to both beginners and experienced 3D printing enthusiasts. The Neptune 3 Max's build volume is substantial, allowing for larger prints and more ambitious projects. The initial aspect that captures your attention with the Neptune 3 Max is its immense print volume. It's truly remarkable how much larger it is in comparison to typical 3D printers, it's 650% more spacious than standard entry-level 3D printers like the original Neptune 3. The Neptune 3 Max closely resembles its smaller counterparts, albeit on a much larger scale. In place of Neptune's usual black frame, it now features a gray aluminum finish adorned with painted stripes and the brand's new slogan, Create the Future, prominently displayed on the front. Max incorporates an automated bed leveling system, which employs an inductive probe to detect the metal surface of the flexible build plate. This is complemented by a six-point manual leveling system for achieving precise tramming. The Neptune 3 Max is equipped with a direct drive system, housing both the extruder and hottened in a single location. To maintain precise positioning of the print head across the entire print volume, 3D printer incorporates a dual Z-axis system, synchronized with a toothed belt and diagonal struts. These struts serve to reinforce the frame and provide a sturdy foundation for support. One of the standout features of the Neptune 3 Max is its detachable touchscreen. Especially with a 3D printer of this substantial size, having the ability to hold the menu in your hands is remarkably convenient. To sum up, Reasons to buy, easy assembly, direct drive, dual gear extruder, quiet operation. Reasons to skip, very large machine, front mounted USB port. Bamboo Lab P1S. The Bamboo Lab P1S focused on precision, versatility, and user friendliness. This 3D printer is designed to cater to both beginners and seasoned 3D printing enthusiasts. The P1S is the cost-effective version of Bamboo Lab's premium X1 Carbon 3D printer. It features full plastic side enclosures, as opposed to aluminum, and employs the same D-pad selector interface as the P1P model. The P1S is furnished with an all-metal hotend, along with a durable stainless steel nozzle. It's worth noting that the nozzle itself is not user-replaceable. In the event of wear, the entire hotten must be replaced. Every component of the printer is custom and must be procured directly from Bamboo Lab. Their web store seems to encompass a comprehensive range of parts, including items such as thermistors and belts. One of the key benefits of the P1S is its support for Bamboo Lab's AMS system, a four-spool feeder that enables the potential to print in 4, 8, 12, and even 16 different colors. The Bamboo Lab P1S is equipped with an impressive auto-leveling system that is complemented by vibration compensation, pressure advance, and semi-automatic belt tensioning features. Once you've initiated the printing process, the machine will autonomously conduct a bed leveling assessment prior to each print. This procedure typically consumes about six minutes, though you have the option to skip it if you're in a hurry. The print quality of the P1S aligns seamlessly with the typical output from Bamboo Lab 3D printers. It consistently generates exceptional parts right from the start, utilizing default profiles that deliver swift and efficient printing results while demanding minimal adjustments to attain the desired print quality. In a nutshell, reasons to buy. Very fast. Enclosure for high temperature printing. Simple auto bed leveling. Optional four color AMS. Reasons to skip. Noisy. Proprietary replacement parts. 
That's it for this review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more valuable content in the future. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. See you in the next one.